Adina, you remember what happened after 9-11. The NASDAQ closed, the NYSE closed to prevent a market meltdown. Is it time to close the markets again? Well, I actually think that back in 9-11, the markets closed because of the fact that New York City at that time was impacted. Uh, while NASDAQ was actually able to operate, the, the, the participants had a lot of challenges uh, becoming operational again on the back of the disaster that occurred in New York. But since then, it's been 20, almost 20 years, all of the market participants and the market infrastructure providers have done a, a lot of work to make sure that they can manage the markets remotely, that they've become fully electronic markets markets in that time, as well as the market participants going through extremely extensive BCP planning. So this time is different, and it is a different environment for us to determine keeping the markets on and open and available. Our view is that it's very important to keep the markets available to investors, but also recognizing that the markets are used to raise capital, whether it's a healthcare company who's leaning into the situation or other companies who need ready access to capital in this environment, it is critically important that the markets stay open in this time. Um, as opposed to trying to take breaks in the middle. I think that that'll just push off the, the situation a little bit, but actually could create other, other pent-up issues um, if you do close the markets. Our view is it's, it's much better to keep them open. Jay Clayton, the SEC chairman, agrees with you, but let me play devil's advocate for just a moment. Why keep the markets open now when confidence is so fragile and these repeated sell-offs can destroy confidence, not just among investors, but among consumers as well. Well, I do think that uh, our economy is based on open access to markets, open access to capital, price transparency, and the ability for investors to express themselves and manage their wealth in an open environment. And therefore, I think managing the markets while we're managing through this situation is critically important. We obviously need to make sure we can do it successfully. We need to make sure that our, the market participants can openly and easily uh, participate in the markets and manage the liquidity as they're managing through the situation. But the fact of the matter is, it is a testament to our economy to demonstrate that we can manage the markets and, man and allow investors to express their sentiment while we're going through the situation.